Good morning, degenerates. July 19th, 2012. And today is Thursday. I'm remembering the days now. Oh my god, I'm missing my muscle memory. Um, yeah, so... I'm borderline addicted to Daisy. But before we talk about Daisy, yes, I know I'm all hairy and messed up. I don't know, man. Every time I get a haircut or I get like a fade or something, it takes like a longer time for me to, you know... Like, my hair is like growing back like tenfold. And it's like, oh, should I shave or should I just wait another month until I... Go get my hair cut. So I'm going to get my hair cut uh, this week on uh, Sunday. Speaking of which, you're saying, wait, Tally, are you going to not to be here on Sunday? Do you know what Sunday is? And it's like, yes, I do. Sunday is sub-Sunday. But this week, it's going to be sub-Saturday. Okay? Sub-Saturday. Sub-Saturday because on Sunday is my girlfriend's only day off. Usually it's Monday, but they change it to Sunday. And since I cherish that day... That I get to be with my girlfriend and I get to go out and we get to have fun, have dinner, movies, fucking mini golf, uh, Sea World, Disney World, whatever it is. I'm moving sub Sunday to Saturday, so this week it's going to be sub Saturday. So start sending in your requests to my Twitch. I'll post in the comments if you're a subscriber. The uh, the link to go to. Sorry, I just got out of the gym, so that's why I look all my shirts kind of like wettish and shit, and I look. Ah. Um, I just came back from the gym, did a good 50-minute uh, cardio, did about like 35 minutes on your elliptical, uh, about 15 minutes on the uh, on the treadmill, a little jog right there, get a good sweat going. Um, doing good with the diet, juicing still, still going strong, not letting go, you know. In the past, other diets I've done, you know, I've usually given up like after like three or four weeks or after like a month, I'm like, uh, I, just don't, uh, I just want a burger. And now it's doing well. I mean, it's uh, it's kind of become like the you know like a new lifestyle. You know, like juicing is just a part of my day now. So I wake up in the morning, go to the gym, get some juice, do my live stream, take a break during my live stream, have my uh, dinner, lunch juice. I'm done with the live stream. Have a nighttime juice. At night, I don't really have a big juice. I have like a really small one. I get like one apple, like two apples, two celeries, two carrots, something very sincere, and I just drink that very before I go to bed. And I think I'm up to like 40 plus pounds lost. Um, I was at 37 pounds after my first month. It's been about like five days now afterward. So I'm pretty much past the 40 pound mark and uh, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling great. I don't feel any weaknesses. I don't feel like I'm missing any nutrients or protein or something. You know, I'm getting everything that I need from my juicing. And like I said, it's very situational. Works for some people, doesn't work for others. So, um, I'm very happy that it's working out for me. And, uh... That's it. Oh, my Razor Care Package. Incoming Care Package. Is coming. That sounds like a horse. Is coming um, this week. I have just learned that they were able. Okay, they were able to snag me. They were able to get their hands. I'm reading what he's saying. I was able to get my hands on a BF3, Battlefield 3 Black Shark headset in the package. Ugh. <laughs> Fucking rest in peace, Razor Maglodons. You have treated me so well for three years. Three years. Three years, and they're still great. Look, they're still... Do you see the blue? It's still there. It's it's still lighting. It's still there. Rest in peace. We're going to see what the new headset's about. I'll do, like, a small little review of the headset. Um, I'll get my I'll get my new Sony camera. We'll look at the headset. We'll go over the specs and shit like that. I'll do, like, a little Linus tech tip stuff. Even though I'm not really good with headsets and I'm not good with specifications and hardware expl explanations, I'll do my own little tally ghetto style of it. But, um... So I'm going to get the, that new headset. Uh, my care package is coming. I have no idea what's coming in the care package. So we're going to be using those prizes throughout the week. Um, yesterday, yesterday, spent the entire day playing Daisy, And it's amazing. I mean, I've been getting some lashback from some members, more than likely, most likely non-subscribers, who uh, love to see me play WoW or pissed off that I'm playing Daisy more than I'm playing WoW. And it's like, dude, relax. When Mr. Pandaria comes out, I can't even touch another game. Not because I don't want to, it's because I, I won't choose to. I mean, WoW is my main game. Everyone knows that. WoW is what I play. And when Mr. Pandaria comes out, it's balls to the wall, leveling my Pandaren, 
uh, Brewmaster, getting him geared, getting him ready for raid, leveling Tao Lee, challenge modes, all that is going to be there. I don't care if my viewers drop from like 2,000 to like 800 or 3,000 to like 2,000 just because I'm doing Mr. Pandaria and not playing the popular game. People seem to have this like misconception that us streamers, we only play the popular games for the viewers and for money. No, that's not true at all, okay? Like, some players out there, they get paid. They do get paid to play some games or they get benefits from like YouTube videos and shit to promote games. I'm playing DayZ because it's fun. For the first time yesterday, I opened up Skype on my live stream. Oh my god. And for those of you who know me, you know that I would never in my life open up Skype for anything. But yesterday, I opened it up so I could play with Lyric and Shorty. And we had some pretty cool adventures yesterday, man. We encountered hackers. We found this fucking hacker box with like 100 plus fucking items of everything in the game. We were trying out rocket launchers. Shorty was like our little like gallery girl. He was like trying everything. I'm like, check out the rocket launcher. Check out the M182956762512512. You know? And Daisy is just a fun game. And I'm going to keep playing it. People have to understand that I'm going to play every possible game that I like to play that's not WoW while we have this downtime. WoW's uh, 5.0 is not going to come out, or Panaria is not going to come out, probably till September. So for July, August, and probably September until the expansion comes out, I will be playing WoW, but at the same time, I'm going to be playing other games. Yeah, it's fun to have 3,000 plus people in your channel watching you play a new game because it's entertaining to watch. But then again, I ask that the people who are hardcore fans of Tally, you know, just stay normal. I mean, I'm going to be playing WoW when Mr. Pandaria's out. Just relax, guys. Relax. Calm down. Daddy just wants to play some new games. Daddy wants to go out into fucking Chernon Electro, survive a little bit, shoot some bitches, die, then do it all over again. I mean, even if Daisy wasn't attracting that many viewers, I would still be playing it. Like, people just think the wrong way in today's internet world, you know? Everyone wants to think negatively. Everyone wants to bring out the negative in everything. You know, he's only playing this game because he can get this many viewers. Oh, now he's playing, now he's only raiding in WoW because he gets this many viewers. It's like people need to get it through their heads that some of us broadcasters just like to entertain. Regardless of what game it is. Like, right now, I have access to Planet Side 2. When Planet Side 2 gets a beta, a, a open beta so I can stream it, I'm going to stream it because I want to show people new games. Do you know how many people have purchased Arma 2 because of streamers like Lyric, Pudding, myself? All right, I'm back. Uh, sorry, I had to take care of some sort of business. I had people at the door. I had to do some stuff. I had to figure out some shit. I'm back. Uh, so where did I leave off? I was talking about like Daisy, 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 Daisy. Oh, yes, Daisy. So what I was trying to say is, you know, so many people have purchased DayZ because of live streams like Lyric, Pudding, Deegan, Destiny, uh, myself even. I'm giving out over like six, seven copies right now of DayZ, or excuse me, Arma 2, that yeah, you can get DayZ afterward. That, um, you know, the game has become some sort of phenomenon lately. And how long is it going to last? I don't know. I guess it depends on like the popularity. <sighs> Sorry, I've been running around all day. The popularity of like, you know the game itself do they keep it updated are they gonna like what are they gonna do about hackers hackers right now are, are pretty much ruining the game during live streams hackers are pretty funny because like we're playing we're hanging out yesterday we like me and shorty we got to a helicopter uh crash right outside of the northwest airfield all of a sudden bam this like fucking hacker just spawned in front of us he was like yo what's up dudes and i'm like what's up he's like yeah man whatever man i'm just gonna take whatever i want from this shit i'm like yeah man you you take whatever you want dude the helicopter go northwest airfield have have fun he didn't even kill us, but we disconnected because he was pointing his gun at me, so I just DC'd really quick. I'm like, I'm getting the fuck out of here. If I'm going to die, I'm going to die to an actual bandit and a player. Hackers can suck it. They can suck my dick. I'm just going to go fuck. I'm just going to disconnect and log back into a different server. But it seems like hackers eventually hit up every single server at one point. My server is on fire. <laughs> I have a server, US717 Fat Farm, and uh, that shit is just insane. It has just tons of fucking, like, you know, f buildings are exploded, cars are spawning everywhere, hackers are, like, going crazy on my server. But, um, yeah, today's Moonguard party, um, you, I, know, I don't know if I mentioned anything in the beginning. I think I did mention something on my Moonguard party. Um, apparently, licensing is now an issue. Now that, like, CBS has basically 
um, is the one providing, I guess, the ads for Twitch. Um, it's becoming a little harder to uh, play music. Like sometimes I'll play like a 30, 40, maybe a minute clip of a song, which is okay. That's not really that bad. Um, I, I see every other live stream on Twitch playing like Pandora, playing music. And I learned that for Pandora to actually be legal on your live stream, you need to have a commercial license, which means that a commercial license allows you to actually make money while you are playing other artists' music. And that commercial license costs about a thousand a month. So do I really want to pay a thousand dollars a month to play two songs for a Moonguard party? And I guess the question is, is it worth my channel shutting down and never being able to stream again on Twitch for two songs? This like the harsh reality is no. It's not worth it. We've worked so hard for what we have in our channel, and I'm not going to lose it because I play like the BGs and Right Said Fred, and then all oh, DMCA channel, Tally's channel's band can never come back again. It's not something that we're going to risk, you know. So we'll go to Moonguard, we'll chill, we'll invite everyone over there, we'll raid the entire, um, you know, fucking uh, the Goldshire Inn. We'll read some profiles, have some fun, play some WoW, then play some Daisy. And um, right now, I'm trying to get a an interview with Rocket Dean. What's his name? Dean Hall. Is it Dean Hall? Is that his name? I don't follow too much. Yeah, Dean Hall is his name. Um, uh, one of the developers, I guess I could call him the creator of Daisy. And I kind of just want to get him for 30 minutes and just ask some questions. You know, everything from the game's progress to standalone to the hackers, what's going to be done, uh, improvements to the game, helicopters, when are they coming back, shit like that, you know? Like any questions other people have, more survival methods, you know, making the game more realistic um, in that manner. So um, I'll let you guys know how that how that goes, but we are gonna play Daisy today. We're gonna play Daisy. Uh, we're gonna play what else? Uh, World of Warcraft. I'm gonna do a quick uh, LFR. See if we can get this go the rest of our gear. <laughs> um, we're also going to be going um, on ICC uh, for my 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 warrior no we'll do it on tally we'll go on my paladin cuz paladin is the popular paladin tally and uh then we're going to play some daisy and we're going to rock it i'm going to see if shorty's available like i don't really like inviting people every day to my live stream because i feel like i'm taking away from their time if they are if they all they do every day is come to the live stream to hang out then i don't mind putting them on skype and doing this but other than that man um that's it man that's all i have so um yeah, keep rocking. Uh, Guild Wars 2 Beta Weekend's coming tomorrow. Uh, get ready for that. I'm going to get ready for it. So um, I'll talk about more in a video log tomorrow or on the live stream today. Come check us out. Twitch.tv slash tally. Rock on. Double chest pound. Peace. I'm a hacker. I'm trying to kill Tally and I can't because I'm bad. <laughs>